Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, the, what, what, what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Pisceans, which is also my star sign. <clears throat> let's look at our year 2021, months by month by month, obviously starting in January 2021. Let's see what this new year has got in store for us. Well, in January 2021, the universe asks us to remember that we are from the stars and that we are spiritual people that have a physical experience inside this body. That's all we need to do, <laughs> because what the guides are saying to us is trust the timing. Because 2020 by was a well, it's just because 2020 was a very difficult year um, for for all of us and for many people, and many people have suffered great losses with regards to um, you know their businesses and, and that kind of stuff <clears throat> their livelihoods um, and many people have been isolated and so it is logical for us spiritual people um, to be empathic and feel that and um, because the energy of 2021 is much higher it is therefore also logical uh, to conclude that everybody and anyone who is spiritual wants to do something about all this in a way to help humanity, for want of a better word, to get back on its feet. I mean, it sounds much harsher. <laughs> it's, it just sounds like, you know, it was just a third world war. There were guys don't mean it like this. But what they're saying is, energetically speaking, the world has taken a beating because as a human society, we are not supposed to go everything alone. We are all one and we are all connected. And I think in 2020, a lot of people felt that. Felt that. A lot of people felt that. And all the guides are saying is, you are part of a team of souls. And because we are part of a team of souls, we can call in support. So call on your people. Call upon your friends that are spiritual to do some rituals together if possible um work together you know bring bring joy to the world bring messages to the world ask your your um, spiritual friends to um engage and hopefully if possible um bring them together and do things together uh, and therefore hire the energy because trust the timing is, what's the word, the, the, the knowledge that we have is just because things are difficult and we are now calling in help to counterbalance this. The guides are also saying, trust the timing. The time is not running out. 
This is not the end and the time is not running out. Just trust the timing, but also at the same time, while trusting that things are never as bad as one feels they could be, it's important for us to realize that right now, as Pisceans in January 2021, don't isolate yourself. Call upon your spiritual friends. And I'm getting that strongly uh, because they're showing me rituals and they're showing me things, you know. So even if you just do a chakra alignment with someone that joins you for that ritual, um, that will mean two souls are connecting to many, right? So the year starts off very, very um, spiritual for us Pisceans, right? Going into February 2021, Let's have a look where we are. Okay. In February, it is important for us because we're coming together as a force for want of better work word uh, in in January is to huh, Understand that come February, there might even be anger coming up inside us because things are so difficult. And the guides are asking us to not go into conflict. Deal with it again on a spiritual level. We are not alone. We are also quite powerful, whatever that means, right? as a spiritual force. Um, and there are people out there who have realized that all we ever do, and I don't mean necessarily us as Pisceans globally, because there is Pisceans who aren't awake yet, but it is a, a Piscean trait to be deep. It's a Piscean trait to be very artistic. And for February, what the guides are saying, whenever anger hits you, do something with it that is more constructive than... Um, than it would be if it was negative, because we have what the, what the guides term the great severing, where they're asking you to <clears throat> let really go of that feeling of being annoyed and being <coughs> or feeling um, almost like we're being boycotted. We could do so many things and we just can't, right? And so my feeling is that we are asked um, as star beings to actually come together um, and maybe there's even a little protest coming who knows you know just of spiritual people if that makes sense something is is going to happen that's for sure and we are part of it whether or not we're in the end part of it if that makes sense right so we are all in this together so february is a month where they're asking us not to be um uh, angry and seek conflict but to flip it on its head and do what we always do, which is tell people that there's other ways than being um, negative and um, aggressive to deal with stuff. Okay? So in, in March, we're being asked... Okay, let me put it this way, because we're, we're now in March. The energy for Pisceans in 2021 is to acknowledge how deep you are. It is the time to say, I am that deep. And you, who may not be as deep, you have to deserve me first. You need to reach that depth. right? So it is important for us Pisceans to live our truth and demand the truth in others to try and, and, and reach us if that makes sense, and meet us, even if it's just halfway. But that's important for us in, um, in March because the, 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 um, the message is that our intuition is really oftentimes what saves us, isn't it? It's, it's our intuition that, that, that gets us through it. And it's this feeling of <sighs> there's an inner authority called your intuition. It's an inner authority that, that can take over when we don't know where to go. And 
what we have been asked by um, by the universe is in in March to know that we are part of Mother Earth and to feel the pulse of Mother Earth. That will be the months where where it makes sense for us to be in nature, a lot of nature. Um, remember, this is our allies. This is where the tree huggers come in, if that makes sense, right? And to do that, and first and foremost in March, no matter what is going on in the world, is for us Pisceans to slow down with anything and everything that happens because my feeling is we need to um, recharge our batteries that early in the year. Okay, here we go. Going into April 20. 21 right big changes coming in 2021 on a on an energetical uh, level which is why we're being asked to live our spirituality and don't put it on the back burner because in april we are being told um even though we should follow our intuition. Let's all do it slowly. Let's not rush into things. Let's not be... Um, huh, it's not the wrong word. I wouldn't say that there are people out there that try to dupe us. But it's pointless to follow a leader, if that makes sense, in April. Follow a path. It has to flow. Trust your intuition still. And flow if someone suggests you know, uh, uh, a certain type of action. Because what the guides are saying to you is this, this in 2021 will feel like a new earth. And we are needed, not just as Pisceans, but obviously they're giving us Pisceans this in April, is to realize that globally, everybody who is deep and spiritual and who normally deals with any issues through meditation and talking to their guides, that's what is important to bring to the table and ultimately to the world. It's not a matter of preaching what you do, it's a matter of doing what you do, regardless of people if people get it, and do what you came here to do, regardless of what people think. Right? So there's another thing here in April where I feel that, that some of us Pisceans may feel a bit... Um... um as if people, um, what's the word, uh, judge us, right? And it should, it should mean nothing to us Pisceans to be judged, right? So that's April going into May 2021. As you can tell, 2021, it doesn't seem like we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're having to do that much, even though that's not true, because we have to do an awful lot. It's just because when you're a spiritual person and someone says to you, well, be spiritual, you kind of go like, I am. <laughs> and what the guides really mean is for us, it's like, yes, you're spiritual. And so do something with it. I've been saying this for a long time that people say to me like, well, you know, you're doing all these videos. Isn't that a lot of work? Yes, I've started this in 2017. It is a lot of work and it is a totally free service. But my aim is to reach people, hopefully give them help and guidance, because if they get help, they can then make better decisions. So, which is also what we do when we do readings, right? So it is not, it is in a way doing more than just being spiritual that they're asking of us, right? So um, in, in May, we are looking at the extremes of life quite a bit so unfortunately or maybe fortunately i don't know the guides are not telling me whether or not there will be a, an uprising somewhere or if there will be um bigger issues going on with this whole you know lockdowns lockdown business and stuff but the 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 guides are saying in may we will feel that there is things happening in the world that are polarizing people and so we are not needed as a third party to that. We are just needed to continue doing what we're doing because that's one way of letting people know that there's answers out there, right? So um, we're, 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 we're birthing creation of new things, 
by, by holding on to the values that are thousands of years old um, for us Pisceans. So, so far, well, not so far, I mean, this is, I, I feel this is just continuing here. <coughs> this year is directed at all Pisceans to either live your spirituality or do soul searching and go deeper into what you came here to do. Really, really important. And yet, in, in, in May, it feels like Mother Earth is saying, fall into my arms, embrace nature, embrace your star tribe, embrace your earth tribe, right? And um, so my feeling is that we're coming together in ways we probably can't quite understand yet. Um, the reading, the, re, the, 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 the way I, I've been shown this is, if we're not being told to stay in <laughs> all the time, right? In May, why don't you grab one of your spiritual friends that does, um, uh, uh, what's it called, um, psychic nights, and do a psychic night of wisdom, you know? So work together, whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you do a circle and maybe someone else is running a circle. Why don't you combine it a little? Right? So all these things is what they're, what they're bringing me here um, to, for the energy of, of, of May 2021. So for all of us Pisceans, be much more open <clears throat> to connecting with your spiritual tribe and with people who are spiritual. It's also interesting because it's not just directed at the people who already do stuff, but it's directed at the people who feel, I just had an awakening or I understand a lot, but I haven't done all that much and all the guys are saying as well you're not alone in this there's tons of people who as 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 of yet have not <coughs> maybe run their own circle has not been in that situation or position um where a group of people is coming to them you may be that person that goes to one of these things that makes you as valuable as anybody else. Because when we're talking about circle, the idea in a circle is, even though there is a facilitator, a circle has no beginning and no end. So everybody is the same. There's no hierarchy as such. And that is important to realize because everybody is on a journey at some stage. And even though the journey may be differently paced, um, we're, on a, we're on a journey. It's really, really important. So... Um, uh, come, come June, what the guides are saying to you, we're going into June, I don't know if I said that or not, <laughs> all over the place. <clears throat> In June, they're saying to us, you, or to you, you're not alone, right? So don't, don't cheapen yourself by thinking, well, it can't possibly be me, right? Or, 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 or um, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, how can you phrase this best? Just trying to phrase this best, it's, it's when, when, don't have, that's a word, don't have self-doubt. It's really, really important. And also, um, in June, because apparently, even though 2021 has a much better energy than 2020, it feels like there will be a lot of stuff coming out, um, born of that, of these issues that the world has experienced, if that makes sense. And it might not be over yet. But what the guides are saying is, if one of your coping mechanisms is, um, uh, I don't know, density and, um, and, and even addictions, they don't necessarily mean proper addictions. What they mean is, if, if, you, are, if you focus on something to get you through something, um, they're, asking you for, they're asking you to realize it, it, it ought to be something spiritual that gets you through it. Right? So sometimes hobbies can be quite good. And at the same time, if all you ever do is build your little ships in a bottle, right, um, without ever looking up and pay attention to your tribe, you will isolate yourself. But it's a coping mechanism. And all the guides are saying, whatever coping mechanism you have in June, it's important to loosen that grip a little bit and allow other people to to get in and also in June because you loosen the grip and you realize oh my god I have to I have coping mechanisms right um, which we all have by the way um, that's why you have guides 
And maybe it's time we let those guides in and talk to them and do meditation, uh, which is important. Listen to music without destruction, which means oftentimes um, instrumental music without any lyrics so they don't get distracted. There's tons of things that you can do. Play drums, play, you know, singing bowls. Do use and vi use um, vibrations and, and make them work, right? That was June. In July, there's a massive growth coming for us Pisceans. It feels like in, in July, we understand our life lessons. We understand, we have a better understanding of, oh, that's what's going to happen here. That's where I am in life. So there's a true soul growth happening in July. And what they're saying is that's also a very good way and a good time when you realize, wow, something is happening here, to study and to, um, to learn and continue on your journey, realizing that one of the best things to be in this world is actually to be the, 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 the pupil, be the person that, that attends classes if that makes sense. And you're not less if you don't run a class, right? If that makes sense. Really, really important in, Ju in July because what they're saying is um, by, by learning, you, again, you learn something that is very valuable. What they, and what they're saying is they're not asking you to, 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 learn, to learn how to drive or, or to learn algebra or, or something. This is all about spiritual studies. Say to the universe in July, well, I'm ready, show me. And figure out what, what comes your way because that will turn you into the, the leader you wish you had. It will turn you into that, that person that goes like, wow, wow, I feel much better equipped now in this life. So to, to recap 2021 so far, because we're sort of in the middle of, of the year in July, um, this is all about living and being spiritual. Right? So if you are a person that says like, wow, I have all these cards, but I don't read them. Now is the time to learn about them and then use them on yourself and then use them to help others. Find skills that will then enable you to do other things, if that makes sense. It's really, really important because that's how you forge a new path. Right? So don't just be a blind leader. Um, do something with that wisdom um, that the universe bestowed upon you. And remember, there's always more that we can learn, right? Okay, now we're going into, into um, August. And in August, because you, are, you were listening in July um, and you looked at deeply into at your at your soul grows and said yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with it. In August it's therefore bringing what was unconscious before into light. So there's some sort of a new awakening for a lot of Pisceans happening in August. And the other thing that is really important is whatever happens on this planet that you cannot control ultimately None of this matters. What matters is that you do not lose yourself in the events that happen around you. And again, remember we had that quite a lot about when the guide said, you know, gather your tribe, find your people that are spiritual, find people with common ground. And these are the people you can count on this year and vice versa. So in many ways, I've been doing this for a long time. And there were times where I feel I go to an event um, and people are really all nice. Everybody is just there to help others and to do their readings. And that's the way it should be, which is this one, one big community. And every now and then there are people out there where you can just, you know, you just know by their energy. Or they say, like, so how much money can you make with this, right? <laughs> so they're not in it because they understand that you have to put the work in, 
right? I mean, there are people who say like, oh, you know, oh, I don't want to do this slowly. I'm going to work um, through this and I'm going to learn uh, Reiki in, in five months, for instance, right? Which is doable. But if you do Reiki 1, right, you open everything up that sits there. It can take bloody months just to, just to heal from this and to recover. It is not the speed that makes you a Reiki master. It is understanding what it is that makes you a master. And like all masters, if you have your driver's license, it doesn't make you a good driver. What makes you a good driver is experience. I'm just using Reiki because that's what the guides gave me as an example. <clears throat> so find me people with common ground um, and, and don't deal with people where you can sense they're not the real deal. Okay? That was August. Going into September 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Pisces. Here we go. In September, they're basically saying to you, um, your soul has a soul plan. And that's why 2021 is all about you being hit over the head with learning something, be spiritual, make spirituality your number one priority because your soul plan at times, because you had to adapt to situations, suffered. And so they're saying to you is, this is the year and therefore September is the month um, where you realize I have a soul plan, right? There's a soul plan. And sometimes it's about thinking, oh, I thought my fate tells me to do this. I'm, I have a fated life. You know, things happen. <clears throat> and then you realize, realize, no, I have a destiny in life. And that destiny is to keep growing, right? So it is a, um, a double-edged sword sometimes to figure out what is the right or the wrong choice. And all the guys are saying is there is no right or wrong. It's how you deal with things. <clears throat> Even if you get a detour, you know, we're trying to get you back, right? So don't be disheartened by anything. And in September, they're also saying to you, there is a bit of, uh, again, soul growth coming. But this polarity we talked about is also quite strong in September. And even though it allows you to grow when you feel polarity, in that case, just means like, I don't think I belong here anymore. I don't think I belong with you anymore. So that could well mean in September that you reflect on relationships, close relationships, and actually think and see, and you know, this isn't, we're not growing anymore together. So, so there is these things that are quite important. There is a sort of a, Polarity, unfortunately, maybe maybe it's not unfortunate. It's just like every time something sort of falls apart, it feels unfortunate, right? Because what you're looking at is karmic relationships. And sometimes by uh, giving people one chance after another, holding on to something that ultimately doesn't work and you have known for a long time, um, is something that can create karma for both parties, or at least one party in that relationship. Sometimes we encourage people by staying. And this is not just about relationships, by the way, even though they started off giving me that relationship feeling. This is about realizing that anything and everything you do could create karma if it doesn't come from the highest good and if it is done, not done for the highest good. So September is going to be a month where things will be difficult, right? And um, all the guides are saying is, as they said all here, stick to your guns, right? Very interesting. Going to October 2021. <laughs> That's just interesting. <laughs> because we really said in September, we had that thing about reflecting on relationships, work, close relationships, all of these things. And in um, October, they're saying to you like, yes, this is the time where you absolutely know you're not for everyone, right? And not everyone is your cup of tea. Um, but, but with this realization comes an understanding that, that, remember, this is the message of the year, live your spirituality. And it's not that you're better than others or worse than others. It's just if you're not really have common ground and you realize 
you know, for instance, sometimes I, you know, I, I do all these things, and people see the like, So how come there's people out there that have ten thousand, two thousand viewers, and you have about a hundred and fifty? Answer is, I haven't got a fucking notion. All I know is that I give this out there, and I and I truly believe that people who need to find a specific message that the guides give will find it. In my mind, it doesn't matter. You know, if 2,000 people at this point in time don't find it, who knows what it means? All I know is that 150 people is 150 people. And if only three people would watch it, but understand what the guides say to them, that's good enough for me. I don't define myself by what other people see as success. I, it's not what I do. I just do what I do and I try to share it with as many people. So share it, it gets me more people. <laughs> right so <coughs> in october they're saying you you understand that that you're not for everyone um and because of that they ask you to trust when you feel i've been led somewhere else it's almost like you're walking and you're feeding the ley lines of the planet and of a place and there's a lot of power places actually out there um, so go to the spiritual places that are out there the places where where we know uh, you know like 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 stone circles and even a, you know a great forest go to places where you know and feel there's really powerful positive energy go and seek them out in October right so 2021 looks like a hell of a year <laughs> November 2021 it is. Okay. See, there is a bigger plan. Because the universe is asking you to look at your relations and to make changes with regards to being in them and then ask you to trust that you're being led and ask you to seek out powerful places because the idea is to, to connect and to recharge. And therefore, in November, that's where they're saying to you, in November, because you did all these changes and you lift your true spirituality, you're the true spiritual person that you are, you showed it in 2021. That's when in November, you get what we call rare gifts, because all of a sudden, you can connect with your inner child. This is not just you as a younger child. This is this is the, the, the childish side, the wonder that has lived inside you since the beginning of your time, right? So you connect with tenderness, you connect with innocence, and you connect with your inner child. And it's also important because once you, once you go into something that is a little bit more pure, you connect with the universe and the, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. My feeling is that in November is the best time to write a book, also the best time to, to um, look at what it is you want to teach and where you want to go, because in simplicity sometimes, but not overthinking, you can get to really great places, okay? Here's the last months of 2021 for us Pisceans. December, <laughs> that is. Let's have a look. Okay. In December, you will notice that the whole year led you somewhere. And you feel, because you feel a bit uprooted, you feel like, whoa, what happened in 2021? I, I, I even lost people because I, I find, uh, found this is all a lot of tush. I don't believe in it. Right? I, I believe there's deeper meanings to things. Right? So you, you therefore connected a lot with spirituality, deeper, deeper wisdom, if that makes sense. Um, and all the guides are saying to you, that's where you also, because you just connected with your inner child in November, in December, you get some of the soul memories you have lost uh, back. And there's almost like hidden secrets inside you. So there is another awakening coming for all of us Pisceans in December. And so what they're asking us is to realize we have done this before. We have been in, at this exploration state 
before. Um, we have had challenging years that turned our world upside down before and yet the guides say to us because you're on a spiritual path that is never ending if that makes sense because it is the the journey that is important there is no proper destination right because there's always something we need to learn and accumulate and all they're saying to us in in december um you know look look at at what the universe is giving you. Look at the lost wisdom that you're now reclaiming. <clears throat> and, um, and remember to look a little deeper, keep on going in your, in your journey, <clears throat> and, and don't despair because, because you have done all this before. You have gone through changes that were massive and survived it all before. That's where they're saying to you is trust that. So, right, that was the year 2021 for us uh, Pisceans. Um, if you think, or you can watch this and like, uh, I'm still lost, welcome to my world. <laughs> so I recap this for you. It's very simple. You came here with a soul plan, and you came here, which I, I believe is, is really what the majority of humans came here to do. Um, you, you came here to actually make a change and to to heal others and to guide others which is why you know you find your home in a spiritual place much more than in any other and all the guides are saying is that's exactly the person that you are and all they're asking us in 2021 us Pisceans is to stick to our guns and to be that person even if the shit hits the fan and the world goes to bits and to shit Right? Sorry for swearing, you know I always swear. I kept it until the last minute, didn't I? No matter what happens globally, no matter what happens with restrictions, all these kind of things, you are nonetheless a spiritual person. And they're asking you to join with other spiritual people, do all the things spiritual people do, which is give and exchange wisdom and heal yourself and others what brings a new energy to the planet and because it brings a new energy to the planet that's where we all allow ourselves and the planet and everybody in it and on it to heal right so yes it's going to be interesting to see what 2021 really means because even defining yourself is always difficult because you're, all, you're constantly changing, we all are. And all the guides are saying is, well, if you're constantly changing, don't try to define yourself, right? Just remember your core and remember your core feeling and that you came here to do things and that you find real peace in spirituality. So bring it to the world. Okie dokie, see you soon. <laughs>